Hey guys, it's Archon. So every morning on my live stream, I build a set for one of the viewers, and I just wanted to show how I build Demon Hunter sets for anyone who is looking for a little bit of guidance. We're going to be using a budget of 50 million gold. Uh, 50 million gold is a lot easier to obtain now than it used to be, and I'll try to show you how I would alter the set if you were doing less or more of a budget. Therefore, this guide should work well for anyone who has a budget between 10 mil and a billion gold. And to start things off, we're going to get the weapon. You really have two choices of a weapon on a Demon Hunter, a Mana Core or a Calamity. Uh, the biggest difference is the attack speed. Mana Cores have a slower attack speed and therefore you're going to go through your hatred slower and any skills that are based on weapon damage will hit harder. Whereas a Calamity is faster, therefore you're going to be able to stutter step or kite a little bit easier and you can get your discipline faster with Night Stalker because you're going to be critting more as you're attacking more. We're going to go Mana Core for this budget though. I think Mana Cores are just a better deal for the lower budget and they're definitely more popular. I'm going to put 10 mil on here because we have a 50 mil budget and I think you should put about 20% of your budget on your weapon. And then I put about 10% on every other piece. Now, of course, that's going to add up to more than 100%, but because you're finding deals, you're not always going to spend what you're putting in the buyout. So first, we'll just look at the mana cores with nothing. Uh, these are mostly going to have int on them, as all mana cores roll either int or dex. And we can just see what kind of damage reduction we're getting here. I have a 50 mil set on right now, so we have something to compare it to. And we're losing over 20,000 damage with this. Uh, I think we'll get better with dex on here. Of course, we're not going to get as much weapon damage, but I think it'll still be worth it. Um, so we lose only like 30 damage there. Yeah, dex is definitely going to be worth it here. We could look at two socket mana cores as well. Um, but of course, we are going to have to pay for a gem to go in there. So we'd have to take our budget down to uh, maybe 7 mil, maybe even a little bit lower, actually. Um, Let's see. Yeah, we'll go 7 mil. That would get us, I think, an 80% gem for 3 mil. Probably not even, but if we're going to get an 80% gem, that's probably worth about 160 weapon damage. We can see if we lose more than, we'll say, 150 to make the math easy. So we're getting about 1,300 here. With two sockets, we get 1114. I think we're losing a little too much damage there. Now, of course, we can't quite use the tooltips to compare because uh, because there's no gems in those sockets, so it's a little bit harder. But I think we're going to stick with one socket. I I tend to think that the one socket ones are better for the lower budgets until you get into 100 mil plus. I think that's just the way to go. And uh, maybe we can get a cheap one. See, this one right here is really nice. It's 10 mil. But that's some really good damage, and we're getting a little bit of vitality as, as well there. It's hard to say no to that, even though it would be a substantial amount of our budget. I think we might just have to take it. Let's see if we can get any great deals, but I don't think so. Okay, so we're going down to 830 mil. That's 10 mil of our budget right there, so we're going to have to be a little frugal with the rest of our pieces. We'll go 4 mil for the Dead Man's Legacy. Dead Man's Legacy is really the only quiver you would get for a Demon Hunter. Um, there's no other quivers that really compare. And for the Dead Man's, we're going to get a Dex Vite roll. Uh, we probably won't be able to get high Dex and high Vite, so we'll probably have to choose one or the other. We want at least 18 attack speed. Let's go ahead and go 19. Um, the attack speed makes a big difference. Less than 18 really just isn't worth much. Uh, we're going to go Hungering Arrow. If we had more time, we can compare to the other um, the other Demon Hunter skills. They all have one naturally. Hungry Narrow is a pretty all good all-around skill, though. Uh, we only have one with a high Dex roll here. Um, let's see. It's not it's not quite as solid as the Demon's Legacy we're wearing right now from the set I already had. Uh, we could lower down to 18% attack speed, of course, and. Um, and maybe that would be better, or we could look for high vit ones as well. Um, there we're getting some more damage with 9% Hungry and Arrow. Sometimes it's worth it to go down to 18%. That one's going to be 3 mil. Let's see, how much damage is that? Almost 3,000 damage. Yeah, maybe we'll just go ahead and take that. It does have a low vit roll, but maybe we can make up for that somewhere else. We get that 10 crit chance, which is really sexy. We we'll get the helm next. Um, normally, I would say we get a mana core, not a mana core, but a mempo of twilight. Uh, but we're gonna go Andarials for the low budget set. Um, even if you can't get crit, I think sometimes mana or mempo of twilight's worth it. But Andarial is usually a better deal in my experience uh, with the 
with the lower budgets. And let's see, we could get a socket or we could get all res here. You can really go either way, it's up to you, but I think we'll go all res. That'll save us from getting it on some of the other pieces. Um, if you wanted a ruby in your home, you could go socket, of course, or you could put a life gem in there. And we'll just sort by lower buyouts. And actually, let me put in, let's try at least 60 all res. How many? That give us two pages. And then the main thing we're looking for on an Andarials is low fire damage taken. So there's one 8% right there with 60 all res. I'd like to get 9% attack speed, but it's kind of outside of our budget. Let me see. Let me go yell at my dog who's barking, so she's not barking in the background of this video. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this one here with 8% fire damage taken. Uh, there's some other good ones, but not with the low enough fire damage taken. Can't find anything quite as good as the one we had from the last set, but that's fine. We're going to go with the Vast Expanse next. That's the chess piece. Uh, we're going to go with two-piece Innas and two-piece Nats. That's pretty standard. Uh, some people go three-piece Nats by getting an Innas belt, uh, but we're going to be getting a Witching Hour. Uh, it's really a toss-up which one's better. It's pretty close, but I've just had better luck with Witching Hours. You can play around with getting an Innas belt, um, which, of course, will allow you to get a Nats chest to complete the three-piece. The three -piece. But we get more defense from an uh, Innas chest, typically. And uh, we could get all res on the chest, but I think it's a little overpriced at this budget. Um, maybe at any budget, so we're going to go pure stats. Let's see if we go lower decks, how much vit we can get. 158 with 12% life. That's pretty nice. Uh, that dex roll is pretty low, um, but let's see. Overall, we're getting about 180. Uh, we call it 300 stat points with that 12% life. I don't think we're going to be able to compete with that if we went like 180 dex. Actually, I know we can't compete with that. I think that's quite a deal right there. So let's just go ahead and take it, even though it's at the top of our budget. Got to nab those deals before someone else finds them. We'll go in his Temperance next, and we're also going to get some Vit on here. Uh, we'll get the rest of our All Res on the Rare Bracers and other Legendaries that roll it naturally. And I think Vit is just the way to go on in his Temperance. Tep typically, um, let's see, there's only one with as much Vit as we wanted to. We can look to see if... Let's see, that's 130 dex 45 bit. It's not too bad. We might want to go with that one. So what is that giving us? It's giving us 2,000 life, lose 4,600 damage. Um, we can see there's a there's a 9% one. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way to go. That one's a little underpriced, I think. You usually can't get dex vit rolls at that budget. So we'll grab those. Um, you can kind of just play around with it, see where you can get the most stat points. And that 1% attack speed, going from 8% to 9%, I would look that at that as about 20 stat points. Personally, I'd be willing to sacrifice 20 stat points or 10 all res to get one attack speed. Because I think one all res is about as good as two stat points. Okay, so we're going to see how much uh, vit we can get with these uh, Nats boots. Um, looks like we can't get that much with that budget. Let's see. I'm going to need a little bit more to get some VIT on there. We might just go pure deck since we already have so much VIT. And then uh, we can have a lower buyout here. Go 3 mil. We're only going down to 830, so you have to make sure we're budgeting well. And uh, let's see, 190, 192. I want to see if we can find any good deals. It's 191 for 1 million. Really high all res too. So yeah, let's go ahead and take that. That looks great. Okay, let's get a Nat's ring. Natalia's reflection. Now there's a few different ways we can go here. I usually just go all out damage. However, sometimes you can find some deals on some VIT ones as well. Uh, average, average damage and crit damage both seem to be a little underpriced. So I always can look at the average damage, crit damage rings. Let's see. Uh, of course, they're always going to come with attack speed. You could try to get uh, crit chance as well, but usually it's a little overpriced. Uh, there we lose 2,500 damage. It's not too bad, but let's see if we can get like a dex vit roll. That might be better. Um, some crit damage? No, but maybe with... Average damage, yes. 
So there's a few high dex ones. Oh, whoops. Let's see why. That's weird. Must have been bought out right as I was searching for it. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's see. That one's not too bad there because we get a good amount of life. It's only 3 mil. It was just posted. I might have to jump on that before. Yeah, let me go ahead and jump grab that before it gets bought. Um, I think we got quite a deal there. Uh, that VIT is pretty nice. We have really nice average damage on there as well. So that's our two-piece Nats, our two-piece Innas. Let's go ahead and get a Witching Hour. We're going to search for all legendary types as uh, we want to search for some things that you can't normally find on a Witching Hour. I'm going to go 70 dex. Let's see, attack speed. We could go 8. Crit damage. We want some of this, so we'll go 44. Uh, we're not going to get average damage, obviously. Vit, probably not. But we'll put Int on there just to make sure we get as few other legendaries aside from the Witching Hour as possible. Um, let's see. We can't quite get that for 5 mil. So let's lower down. Oh, it's because I put 55 crit damage. I missed the 4. Okay. So we're going to see how much damage we can get. This one gives us a little bit of life. Um, we lose a little bit of damage. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, there we just lose a little bit of damage. Let's see if any of these give us more damage than the one we're currently wearing. Um, it's not too bad either, but it's about the same as this. No, it's not as good as that, and we lose some. Yeah, let me grab this. I think it's a pretty good deal, and it's probably get taken pretty soon because it also has that strength on there, which is bonus armor. So we have about 20 mil left. We have 19 mil left. Let's see how many pieces we have. We have the ring the bracers, gloves, shoulders, and amulet. So if we keep spending 4 mil on each piece, we should be good to go. Let me take this back down to 4. And we can find a few good deals, which will save us enough money for the gems, hopefully. It's nice to keep checking to see where you're at if you do have a very finite budget. Uh, let's go with the bracers. We're just going to get rare bracers here. Hope we can get some all res. Um could go dex and vit we might just choose one or the other and we want to get a decent crit chance and um, we could go pick up radius but we'll just leave it at that let's see we want to get five crit chance if we can and I'm gonna say at least 55 all res let's see dex wise we're not gonna be able to hit over a hundred dex but let's try to get at least 75 and then vit wise we can go 65, I suppose. Uh, we can sort by all res, or let's see. It's not too bad right there. 76 all res, 4 crit. You can see I went uh, Lacunis on the last set, but sometimes you can get some much better deals than Lacunis, um, as rare bracers aren't bought that often. Everyone wants Lacunis. And since we already have the 12% movement speed from both the pants and the boots we can afford to get um, we can afford to not get lacunis let's give us plus to everything that's pretty nice uh, only 60 all res but good dex and bite it's pretty nice too but only 57 all res and it's a little bit more expensive we could check to see if we could get like a really crazy vit roll or a really really crazy dex roll, but it'd have to be really high at this point. It'd have to be like 165 plus, I think. Um, yeah, that's not gonna be worth it. Let's look at the dex roll. I think we're gonna go vit dex though. That's usually the best way to go, it seems. Yeah. Oh, I do that sometimes. I apologize. Let me pull this back up real fast. I I accidentally. No, I, not accidentally. A viewer suggested that I scroll, that I bind my mouse scroll down to close all windows. And I'm like, that is really cool, because then you can just scroll through chat and stuff. And But then I accidentally close my windows while I'm doing stuff like this. So I'm like, okay, I'm unbinding this. It's too annoying. And I tried to unbind it like at least a dozen times now. It just rebinds itself. It's quite annoying. Um, okay, so let me go 5.5 crit. Can we do that? Get a little bit more picky here. We'll sort by buyout. So let's see. So there's this one for 3 mil. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and grab those. I think they're a pretty good deal. That'll be good for our set. 
Let's get the other ring next. We can probably just go pure damage on this other ring. We'll keep it at four mil. We're gonna get uh, crit chance, crit damage, probably some dex and some average damage. You can play around with this with vid or sometimes on those low budgets you could even try it without putting a main attribute on there as uh, as everyone's always searching for main attribute. Anytime you can find something that people feel like is a necessity on an item, it's good to try looking at it without that thing because uh, sometimes it gets overpriced. Okay, I almost just want to grab this because it looks like it's severely underpriced. It's only 650000 and Yeah, I'm just going to grab it. Every once in a while you find those deals that you can snipe and it's just worth to, to take them. And this was one of those times, 650,000, 5.5 crit. That's that's huge. Everything rolled great on this. So uh, typically building a set, you're going to find one or two of those. And of course, the longer you take to build the set, the more awesome deals like that you're going to find. So let's go ahead and get the gloves next. I think we can go pure damage on this as well. Uh, we'll stay at 4 million. The more money we can save, the more money we can spend on gems, of course. Uh, we'll go crit damage on here. I already have crit damage. We'll go attack speed as well. Uh, crit chance, I'd like to get at least, uh, we'll say 7.5. I wouldn't want to go that low, but sometimes you can find some really good deals. Now we'll go 70 dex. Let's see, maybe we can get some really high dex roll. It's 2,000. Actually, we only have one page, so let's go ahead and look through all of these. See if there's any fantastic deals. There's high crit damage rolls. Nothing as good as we got on this uh, last build, as you can tell. But we'll get as close as we can without spending too much. These right here are the best deal, for, f but they're 4 million. Oh man, I don't know if I want to spend the extra 3.5 million. That's quite a bit. 4,000 damage less. Hmm, I just don't know. That's a toss up. It's a pretty big difference going from 2,000 reduction to 1,000. But I think I'm going to get the 1.5. So I think that's just a better deal. And I'd rather have that money for other parts of our set. So let's see. We have just the shoulders and amulet left. We have 14 mil still. We did a good job saving money on those last few pieces. Um, I'm going to grab the shoulders and then we'll try on this set, see where we're at. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and try it on now. And that way we know how much vit we need to get on the last few pieces, if we need to get some more all res. Typically, we're trying to go for around 400 all res on a Demon Hunter set. I think that's a good number. However, on a lower budget set like this, we might settle for 350 or so. Okay, there we go. Let's try this set on. Ahead and grab it all. Replace what we're currently wearing. And we'll have to take off the two pieces we don't have yet. Okay, so our life is at 35,000. That's not too bad for a budget set. Um, our all res is a bit low. Um, now with the shoulders, of course, we're going to be uh, just over 300, but we'll probably want to get some all res on the amulet as well because um, we didn't get much all res. Usually I'll get all res on either the chest or the pants, um, but we just went with more vite today. So we'll try to get a little bit of all res on the neck and a little bit of vite on the shoulders, and that should get us up to 350 or so where we'd like to be. Um, we could go without the all res on the on the amulet if we wanted to, just be a little bit squishier. However, we'd be you know like 320 all res, and that's probably a little too low. But it's up to you how squishy you want to be. Um, if you just want to do the low MPs, you could be that low. Shadow Power Gloom does do a lot. Um, but overall, we're looking pretty good. Crit chance is already at 50. We're gonna get some more on the amulet. So let's finish off this set. Pretty good all around. We'll go ahead and get the amulet first because we pretty much know what we're going to get on the vial wards. There's not a lot of choices there. Amulet, we could get a lot of things, and so it's better to base the vial wards off of what we get on the amulet. Go crit chance, crit damage, 
probably Dex. However, Amulet's one of those pieces where you could try not getting a main stat, and sometimes you can get some pretty good deals. And we'd like to get a little bit of all res. I'm just going to say 35. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that affects the. Let's see how that affects what we can get. Uh, I'm going to keep the Dex really low right now, just 85. Uh, crit damage also going to be pretty low. All these going to be pretty low, just because we're asking for all res as well. Let's see what the max minimum buy on that is. Okay, so we could we could get one of these pieces here. Um, I should probably go ahead and put on the amulet I had from the other set just so I can compare this better. I typically forget to do this. This amulet's going to be a tricky piece because we want to hit that all res mark. Again, if you want to avoid this problem of having to get the all res on the amulet, you could get it on the chest or the pants or both. Um, and then there's a lot of other pieces you get it as well. All res seems to be pretty cheap on amulets when you have a higher budget, but for this budget, it's typically more challenging. Wouldn't want to spend 10 mil, but we would if we had to. Crit chance, crit damage, all res, and maybe I'll even keep off the decks for now. Um, yeah, I'll keep these low. See what we can get. Get a lot of pages when we don't have decks on there. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to get without the decks, but we'll just see with and without. Go high crit damage, we can get a few decent rolls. There's with 122 vit on it. It's not too bad for 5 mil. Um, we get 62 all res as well. It's not bad at all. Um, here, that's 10 mil. You know, I'm going to take the budget down to 5 mil. Now that I see we can get something for 5 mil, and um, I'm pretty sure we can't get anything that sexy with decks on it, but I'm just going to double check before I commit to go invite, and no, we're not going to be able to. So we go Vit here, and yeah, that's just this is a really nice amulet, I think, for 5 mil. We can grab that, finish that our all res, and then we can go pure decks on the, on the Vile Wards. Yeah. Of course, we could look around longer. There might be a few other better deals. I just want to demonstrate kind of how I build sets. But the longer you take, the better your sets can be. So we'll go 5 mil. And all we really care about at this point on the Vile Wards is the Dexterity. So let's see if we can get a good deal here. Well, this one is 5 mil. That would leave us with 4 mil for the gems. Might be pushing it. Let's see what the damage difference is. There we're getting 4,800 damage. If we go down to a 3 mil one... We're getting 3,400 damage. Ah, oh, that really nice armor there, though. Um, I think I might take that just because it would be nice to have that extra money for the gems. Um, 1.5 for this one. Do lose a little bit of defense, but that'd be even more money for the gems. Um, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and do that. The more money we can save, the better. So now we have about 8 mil to spend on gems. We have uh, 5 sockets, and then of course the weapon. We didn't get a socket on the helm. So we'll go... Let's see, Flawless Star. I know we can afford this. We could splurge and go for the Perfect Star. But then we'd have almost nothing left for the other gems in our gear. Uh, it's really a toss-up there. Yeah, we're going to have 300,000 left. If I really want to stay on budget, then I guess I have to go with Flawless Star. Um, usually you don't have such a set budget, and I just would have gone for it and spent the extra 1 million gold or so. But for the sake of the video, and so that we can make sure we're staying within what I said we would, we'll go ahead and get this the 80% crit damage. And then let's see, probably get 5 Star Emeralds. For the other slots, that'll be yeah, th just under 4 mil, so we have the budget, and that should complete the set. Let's go ahead and try this set on, see how it looks, and then we'll test it out on like MP5. I think a 50 mil budget would probably do best on like MP3, but MP5 will be a good place to do like a stress test. So we spend just over 48 million gold. Go ahead, grab the amulet. Vile wards and our gems, and we'll see what all of our stats are at. I think I think.
think this set's going to look pretty nice. Put the amulet in there. The, the gem, rather. And we are over 200,000 damage, which is nice. We have 40,000 health, and that's only 32 Paragon. Really nice. Uh, we're just under 400 all res. Overall, I think the set turned out really nice. We have 57.5 crit chance. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. That's really the standard defense you're trying to hit. Even if you're going to go high budget, I think 400 all res is fine. 40,000 health is fine. Our armor is almost 4,000, which is fine. Um, maybe a little more armor would be nice. This is with Perfectionist, I should point out, but I think most Demon Hunters use that. It makes it easier to stack that damage. And uh, we should be able to do MP5 just fine with this set. However, again, it'd probably do better on like MP3 or so. Looking pretty good. Now, we could have gone a uh, uh, socket in the helm if you really like the socket. Uh, you could lose some all res, which we could afford to lose some. Uh, we had 60 from here. Or, of course, you could just get uh, the chest or legs with some all res and lose a little bit of vit, which we could afford to lose. It's really just preference as far as the socket in the helm. Just go to Fields of Misery. Get my bat companion out. And um, the real reason, of course, the demon hunters can sacrifice so much of the damage is because of shadow power gloom. You can see our discipline comes back fast enough with this 57 crit chance that we can have shadow power gloom up all the time. Don't really have to worry too much about dying. Probably get hit now and then, but life should be come back quickly. Uh, those bulls might one-shot us. I don't know. Oh, here we have a elite pack of bulls. It's probably the hardest elite pack we could get here. So we'll uh, really be able to stress test this set. Uh, if we can handle the MP5 bulls, then we should be good to go. I don't want to get too far. Oh, it's frozen too. I don't want to get too far into the uh, map here because we're going to pull too many mobs. But uh, just keep stutter stepping. Usually lets you avoid getting pounded by bulls. We'll see how well this set does against them. You know, I'm wondering if we get one shot by the bulls, but I'm hoping I don't find out. Um, but if you were on MP2, MP3, you'd have no problem doing this. Um, we really got basic defenses down fine and still hit that 200,000 damage. Yeah, you can see they're going down pretty quickly. Um, there aren't many classes that can get up to 200,000 damage with with 50 mil. There we go. So yeah, I think it's a pretty solid set. Uh, again, the better you get with a Demon Hunter, the more defense you can afford to lose. Um, I'm getting a little bit better, but I'm pretty new at softcore Demon Hunters. I'm used to playing on hardcore as my Demon Hunter. And yeah. So hopefully this guide will help you guys build your 50 mil budget. I know some of you guys are going to have different opinions on which pieces you should put in what slot, so feel free to leave those below in the comments. And if you do use the guide, please comment below, let me know how it worked for you. So if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and I'm going to have another one for you soon.